So he put this album together, submitted it to Solomon. What did he say? <laughs> he said, fuck it, become master. <laughs> he was taking it to him. It, he wanted it like yesterday. And we were like, it's a process. Like, hmm. you need to let us record. Like, you people have not finished. Why have you people not finished this album? We're like, we're recording, you know? And then I had some songs also that I'd done with um, freestyle. Yeah. And we just put everything together in the studio and we submitted to him. Next thing I know. He showed me. He thought it was a surprise. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then he showed it to me. Like, look at them. Like, it's not even mixed. Like, like what? what are you what's doing? wrong with you? So even now, when I listen to that album, sometimes I cringe. I'm like, yeah. Oh my god. That's good. I'm like, no, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm like, no. Ain't it a problem? <laughs> <laughs> it's on Apple Music. If you guys want to hear it, it's on Apple Music. Just type Neo Light to come out. It's there. We listen to it. It's I fine. Know. I can't. It's 2004, right? Yeah, 2004. That's when I was just. 2004. Two, no, no, 2007. Was it seven? Seven. No. In fact, I never bought an album because that the only album money to buy one album, and I saw such as album. My own, someone stole it, so I don't. <laughs> I, I actually don't have a hard copy because <laughs> someone stole it from me. I have her. a hard copy. How many? One. Only one. Only one. Are you selling? You see it. You see it in Alaba. I went to Alaba. I didn't see it. I've been everywhere. I've not found it. There are a few albums I'm listening. I'm, I'm looking for hard copies. Nola's album is one of them. I have mine. I have Faze. I have Sasha's. I have all Faze's. I have Sasha's. I have Sasha's. I have all Sasha's. I have Tribesmen CDs. Okay. Okay. Don't look at me like this. Problem. <laughs> I need to get this thing. I need to visit this. I, ha I have. Where I have. do you stay again? <laughs> I have it. Yeah, I can't. It'd be wild to just rob new lad. You say, what did they take? <laughs> they just took the CDs. They just took the CDs. They just took the CDs. What the hell is wrong with these people? Ah, interesting. Maybe if, if I hear um, robbers went somewhere and just and take all the CDs, I'll, I'll know it's a saga shop. Yeah. I'll definitely know. In this country, yeah, I'll know it's a saga shop. I have to. <laughs> Another person that I know is a collector, which is shocking. Odusi, that boy is not normal. Yeah. No, I, we 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 vibe on the shows the music. Yeah, see, we vibe before. We vibe before. before. We vibe on the Tony Tatula level and some other levels. And I knew that. Okay, oh, Odusi, Odusi, Odusi knows confess. it. What's that record with um, What his real age is? Desire. Desire, look at that desire. Was desire like, that was like 600 years old. He's been collecting. He's, been collecting. he's, the, he's, he's an old man. Alright, Odusi, if you're listening to this, <laughs> we need to do a face-off. Say the truth. We need, we, need to just, we need to just sample, like, show me your samples, I'll show you mine. I have over 600. Uh, you should bring yours and we just, we just trade. That boy plays something, so I'm like, how? That how did you how did you get that? How did you find it to be like chosen his music, man? He has yeah. an old he's, he has an old soul. Listen to yeah. desire now. Yeah, yeah. 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 hearing Baba D's yeah. Yeah. Like that. and ah. it's clever sample. It's clever sample. It's yep. not straight up jaggy mm. Yep. Shout out to him. Shout out to Jesse. So um, I wanted to ask. There was one record you were on. You were on Sasha's. You were in Sasha's Adara video, right? Yes. So Sasha signs with Storm Records. What was the feeling like? I mean, your she was your was she all like. Close yeah, body we were close friends. Um, I signed. I got signed first mm -hmm. to Westside, and then afterwards she got signed to Storm. To Storm. So it was like, yay, we're signed, yeah. you know. And it was, it was a good thing. It was a really good thing. Interesting. Then, do, do you think you'd have, you'd have made a better choice, like Storm, Westside? Like? I think that my journey is perfect as is, okay. because if I would have everything that I that I've, that I've been through leading here. I see, like I said in the beginning, looking back now, I see why. Like there's nobody I've met in my life that I haven't looked back. I don't believe in, um, I don't believe that things happen. I don't believe in coincidences. Yeah. That had to happen. Because if it didn't happen that way, some other things would have happened. Yeah, so true. I don't think that I would have made it better. I don't think it was a bad choice or a good yeah, choice or a worse choice. It was just everybody's. Journey. 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 Journey.
It, no, you know what's funny? I actually didn't say anything to him about how hurt I was until yeah. this year. Uh, Not wow. even just the hair, about the fact that he didn't, I felt like he didn't believe in me. And we were really close because I could say that I'm a nerd. He could say that like I'm sort of a nerd. And so he was also one of the nerds in the family. He was a nerd of the family and he expected, we were nerds together. I All, all I knew was my books, my books. I would just read, 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 anything legible. Yeah. And he just didn't guess why all of a sudden I just veered into music mm. and music alone. Mm. And I think it was You're gonna just, leave me with all these books. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to protect me in the best way that he knew, but he yeah. didn't go about it the right way. And I let him know in recent times that he really could have gone about it in another way. And he apologized. No, you, you guys prayed. <laughs> we didn't pray, but I mean, you know, when my mom passed, yeah. we had to. I Talk. think that was what made me. Because for a long time, I didn't say anything to him. I was just like, but he puts a big strain on the relationship that we wow. had. I would only see him when we had family functions. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't want him to feel like, yeah, he keeps judging me. Like if you want to sing, sing in church, sing for God. Yeah. But I am singing for God. Mm. Like, well, you know how Nigerians are. A lot of people feel like if you're not singing, if you're not gospel, then you're then secular. You're you're secular is singing for the devil. Yeah. Be and gospel means good news. Mm. It doesn't have to have Jesus in it. Yeah, I thought it would be like that. Gospel means good news. And then I'm going to had good news Bible? I, had I did. For the pictures. Bible was, <laughs> why was for the that, pictures? For that Bible was... That Bible was... I like, that Bible was a work, I'm sorry. Is it work? It's work. Was, was, no. Theologians don't... Yeah. You don't yeah. bother them. But the Bible... But it was for a wicked. very cool Bible. Yeah, because they're pictures. It was yellow. Yeah. They're yeah, pictures. We were like... We were like... We were kind of oh, deep. sorry. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. You were here. I attended the palace. So what happened? Why did you leave the palace? Huh? And you're wearing chains now. I can't do that. Using an iPhone. <laughs> oh, I was going to think I said using an iPhone. Like, that's, why, that's why he doesn't know any of these songs. Yes, Yo! Oh. Oh. He's not Delta. Why are you saying whoa? I've always He's said this. Delta. I've always right. said this thing on this podcast Delta. now, right? Why are you saying whoa? It's so obvious, but I never saw it. That's the real reason. You were hiding in plain sight. Yeah, man, I was hiding, bro. I've always said it on this podcast. You guys are trash. So what happened? They had a hidden TV. Though. That had a hidden like TV. We had a hidden TV. We found out the rebel. We had a TV in the room. Shout out to Paddy. What did he used to watch? I used to watch anything that comes on on TV. Mm -hmm. Football, mm -hmm. music, anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you watch? <laughs> you did watch USA 94 though? I watched USA 94. Once I watched USA 94. Alright, we're just checking. <laughs> just checking. So, post album, post West, like, so, did the rollout. I think, you know, at the era the album dropped was the era where things weren't going like it wasn't like you know things weren't exploding people were dropping albums moving on to mm -hmm. the next thing and all that trying to get gigs people were still finding themselves yeah. the industry was still shit it was the yeah. calm before the storm yeah. exactly you know and i think that is the era you know you drop the album just yeah. that, that before that, that shift window, happened before the shift and happened. i was and as soon as i dropped the album i left west side because my contract had expired mm. and um also, you didn't do any promo around it. How many videos did you shoot? There were like three singles, right? The shots, uh, Bring It On. That was the shot, Bring It On. I think it was just two videos we shot off it because at the time I was done. I was just like, Muffin Yeah, this guy <laughs> doesn't know the first thing about nothing. Yeah. And there were a whole lot of things that happened, um, which I never really spoke about. Yeah. Ever. Um, if he was fighting for me, because Mr. Solomon was, he was, um, he was, uh, what's the word? He didn't understand the first thing about music or the music business. And he would resort, he would resort to threats and, 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 uh, sometimes be violent, mm -hmm. you know, and I just have to leave. I've never spoken about this before, he never hits, in front of a camera. He hits you? He physically harassed me. Just because he wanted things to, he wanted, he wanted things, things done, to be his, done way. his way. Yeah. I mean, maybe that, <laughs> yeah. maybe that. Um, but I just, it just didn't feel okay for me, and I needed to leave. You didn't feel safe. So the, the, I didn't feel safe, and so it was. I just did that. Let my people go. Like, okay, here's the album, which is why he put out the album. Like, let yeah. me just let put me this just, album yeah, out, yeah, and yeah. then everybody just so let's move on. And we went on from there, and after then. 
I had to decide if I really wanted to do music because I was not seeing Kilo Day. You know, like yeah. you know, I was I was I was I took a break and I started to um, perform with um Ayo Bankole. I don't know if you know Ayo Bankole, the maestro. He plays classical it. music yeah. like Musan. He he would perform he had a band, mm -hmm. so I used to perform with his band. I was performing with his band. Um, you know the song. I think I did call my day call out. Yeah. I think his father wrote that song. Wow. And I used to perform with his band. We used to do luncheons, um, AGMs, and I was just in the band and I was just performing yeah, like yeah, repertoire. Yeah. You enjoyed everything. it? I, I, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it because it opened me up to another side of being a musician. Live music performances. Yeah. 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 So. But I would always tell him, you know that I need to go back in the studio. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he owned a Minstrel Craft. I don't know if you know about Minstrel Craft. It's one know. of the big studio, biggest and first studios in Suleri. Hmm. Um, owned by Ivan Kole. And then there was Clink Studios owned Clink by um, Kingsley Ogoro. Those, oh, Kings yeah, those were the places that I used to work. And then I was doing movie soundtracks with um, Ndubusi Oko. Hmm. Yeah. I started doing... Um, <laughs> I started doing jingles. I did jingles at Clink Studios and Digitrax Studios. Digitrax. Um, what was Digitrax, Alan? No, 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 right here yeah. at TBS. TBS. TBS, the Papa Square. I did jingles for Oleum. I did jingles for FCMB. I did jingles for radio stations. I did. I did. It was a jingle jingles. period. I just jingle. did. Okay. That was how <laughs> I got through school because also it was you want to do this music thing. I was like, yeah, I want to do this music thing. I'm going to figure my life out. Yeah. So nobody did nothing for me. I literally figured my life out wow. with music. So music literally saved my life and helped me figure out who I was. And um, Wow. Yeah. And so after that, I decided that, okay, I'm ready to come back and do music. But that was when music had now started to so become... Yeah. Yeah. The sound, the sound the advanced yeah, 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 yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. And the sound advanced again. And Banky had... This Were you on advanced warning? No. Okay. <laughs> Banky had... Um, when he came from... I'd met him at the Ovation Red Carol when he first came to Nigeria to perform for the first time. That was when Banky was talking with a light voice. Very yes. Light voice. <laughs> Hi, Banky Dolphin here. Yeah. And Feku wanted to interview him, man. Feku. Yeah. Yeah, everybody knows Feku. <laughs> Shout out to Feku. Oh my that God. That was like, that was Botty Banky. Ah, hey, Banky came out. Banky fresh. Fresh was like. Things that happened to Banky. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, uh, they're, they're, they're tracking Banky now. Right? Lagos has, yeah, happened, to Lagos has <laughs> happened to him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Banky and I were friends. Like, we would um, we would always chat when I was in school. Like, whenever he was in the states, we chat back and forth. So one day he hit me up and was like, "What's going on with you? I wanted to do, I wanted to feature skills on the song that I wanted to release. Skill. It was a song called Unpredictable. 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 Yeah. And I, and it was produced by EXO. Yeah. Shout out to EXO. Shout out to EXO. Extraordinary one. Also Extraordinary one, Cashin. writer. Cashin. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh. They were th he was part of Thoroughbreds. You know that. With Venomous. Yes. Yes, I know. And Ill Bliss and. And Ill, yeah. Okay. Before he's thinking. Even he was in North Noise. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah sure. North Noise, him, Venomous, and a couple of other guys. The guys are now the guys now became Cali the Caliphs. Cali 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 yeah, that's another. A lot of major acquisitions oh in the jam people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. I know their North Noise and Thoroughbreds had beef. Mm. Yeah. Strong one. That's undocumented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enough undocumented rap in this country. People Enough. need to make documentaries. Where are the filmmakers? Well, we're trying, we're, we're working on some things. We'll get there. We'll we're get working there. on some things. But we need we need a two faced movie. We need a tribesman, a tribe movie. There are movies we need. You know how you have like we a two pack a movie? Hip hop hip hop something called like just we need a documentary first of all that has everybody i don't know how and it has to be like a series so like you know how netflix dropped like 13 part series yeah, yeah. that's how it has to i think be. people a lot of people are willing to talk you, 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 you just with most of these guys they're ready to tell you stories man mm -hmm. just to get their throat if i get funded i can do this shit it's and i fun. just captured from 98 to to when when do you stop from that's 90 you can talk to netflix <laughs> you can yeah. talk to you now now 
from 92 actually you can't do from 98 people will not know like i do 98 but i did pre yeah, no, 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 no. good. you go back a little bit you go back a little like kids local was a like okay, okay, about you're not going to include the island avenue Keep no, no, what I can do is start from 98, then just do a preamble to 98, like in one a episode. Flashback. Yeah, 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 like do yeah, a 92, flashback, like yeah, yeah. in one episode, say this is what. The 80s, too, because we had. Yeah, yeah no, that, was a, that was the first part. No, that's another. That was, that was that's the first another, part. Another era. Well, if you want to do his job, that's where it starts from. Yeah, that was the first I'm not doing them, guys. That is my own documentary now. Yeah, okay. okay. there's, nothing, there's nothing in your own here. It's not <laughs> <talks> documentary. <laughs> it's not me that wants to shoot the documentary again. Who will come to their own research and everything? What I'm saying is. I want to start from 98. Why is it a problem to start from 98? Because 98? it's not fair to the people who started in the 80s. Like I said, do you know Kids Logo? Then somebody else would do that. I don't understand though. Do, do you know Kids Logo was a rapper? You also can't leave Kids Logo in there. If somebody had to make a Destiny's Child documentary, they would do Destiny's Child. And if they want to do Beyonce, they would do Beyonce. Fam. Okay, that's true, sir. Okay, we'll start from 98. Uh -huh. ah, no, for you. Okay. Now for you. I wanted to ask you, is that your vocals on Freestyles okay? Yeah. Wow. First of all, that beat is, is insane. It's, I, I haven't heard anything like that. Shout out to Star FM because I heard the instrumental first. And my brother, like, we can this beat. Crun, crun, no, 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 um, CPZ. CPZ, two uh, CPZ is a classic. <laughs> CPZ. This was when Two Face or Two Face was just key. Or There's one other record <laughs> that is very underrated. <laughs> if I hustle my money, yeah. you go follow <laughs> me, <laughs> chop him. Not like it's not It was big at the time. It was big, it was big. Because I resemble your father. Oh man, that's my record. So songs like that, like Freestyle's album too, was really good. I like that song. Of you course, heard for that, when you heard the song with Blaze. What's the name of that record? Bragging, Bragging rights. rights. What was your what was your thoughts on that? I was there when it was recorded. I was Whoa! There. I was there when you said what? I was there when it was recorded. I could tell thing wrong thing right. right. Mm -hmm. If you die, you can't be right. tight. If you die, you can't be tight. Now we get now bragging, we get right. bragging right. You were there when it was recorded. Yeah. You know, Blaze, I read an interview where Blaze said she had no idea that that was what freestyle wanted to record that she did her verse you know moved on then yeah. freestyle did his verse so i mean she was like because it came out and it was like okay no that that was a hard track it was still one of the hardest record. tracks with a packing through and out through. it was yeah it was a it was a hard record wow wow so you worked with ayo bankoli from our perspective again neola just went silent right and what this is when things you know the p squares came <laughs> this is when yj did the the vocals for p square and they didn't give her credit for it shout out to p square you know <laughs> Pierre when Paul. Um, 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 me now you know <laughs> Pierre and Paul. okay so um, um, me came on the scene advanced <laughs> warning happened so we had like yj we um, had durella that was when mtv base came mtv base mi had just come on the scene a yeah. bit and all that was happening yeah do you understand and well, like I said, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to continue because of the experiences that I had. And first time, yeah. And for me, at that time, it was like, okay, yeah, I can always do music later. Like, I just need to, you know. Um, so I'd gone to, I'd, I'd done, OJB had called me and said they want you to do uh, a theme song for Ovation Red Carol. Hmm. It was me, Juan Deco, and Omaomi. Kind the time. that was a powerful lineup. And we did the. the Red um, Ovation Red Girl thing and we performed, we performed it and we also did one that was like, it had a lot of females on it, it was uh, a whole bunch of people, I remember, I just remember YJ, Stasha and a whole bunch of other people and after that I was like okay maybe I can give this a shot again because a whole <laughs> lot of people were bothering me then. I'd gone to the EME house in Obudu to meet up with skills because Osage I run I run I, I run uh, up, uh, across that that house every Saturday really? or something really yeah. mm -hmm. what do you go there to do I run oh, oh okay, uh, okay. you know it's like long road so I yeah, run on that road yeah, yeah. interestingly Kobabs was staying in the other yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> right full next circle. to the, yeah full circle yeah it's so crazy so I'd gone there and I wanted to Osage was my friend and Osage was managing skills shout out shout out to Osage 
That's another person who needs to come on your show. <laughs> yeah, Osaren Hoy. Ni Osaren Hoy. What's her new son name? Osa. I can't pronounce it. Shout out to Osa7. Osa7. Shout out to you guys. Osa7. 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 My name's Sig. That always puts me in Wala because people keep tweeting at me. Please, can you sign me? Can you introduce me to Whiskey? I'm like, it's not me. Because <laughs> you're a nice guy. He's like, yes, man. Let me know then they will out me later on on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so you yeah, met up with Osagi. I met up with Osagi and I told her I'm such a huge skills fan. That was when he was rapping. Yeah. They are heading for Grammys. Yeah. Oh, era. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, yeah, I need to. Get I need. I need. Yeah. So I did unpredictable. Because you're a big fan of rap. You know, you yeah. grew up in the rap yeah, era. Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. Yeah. Rap. And then I wanted him on the song, so I went to the AME house and I saw Banky Boy because like. You, where have you been? I'm like, yeah, I've just been under the radar, but whatever. He's like, listen, you need to make music that is reflecting the times. I'm like, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. And he goes, this Delsu rip thing that's happening. Why isn't anybody doing anything about it? I feel like all the female artists are just playing safe. That is it Imsu? Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one suit. Yeah, one Something suit. Yeah, one suit. Yeah, yeah so too, he though. said, you know what? Let us work on something. Let's mm. write something together and release it. And that's how the whole EME conversation started. So I would always go to the EME house and try to record. And they'd be like, okay, let me hear what you've done. I'll play it for him. I was working with this guy at the time, Fat E. Fat E. And I, I was still recording. I would always record every now and then. Because people would be like, come on, record. I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know, so I played, I went to, um, that's where I met Mastercraft. I met Mastercraft at the Master studio. And we did the first song, which by the way was never released. It's still not being released, but it's gonna be a mini P. It's called I Believe in Me. And it's a very powerful song talking about um, just standing for yourself and whatever. And somehow um, it just never got released. So I did crazy. I wrote crazy and I said to Banky, Oh, I have this amazing song that because when Banky and I started talking on then on him signing me. I told him I can't write. I don't know how to write. Mm -hmm. You know. So he didn't know he had. You should have just called Sam Sultan. And he had no clue. I'm a very lazy writer. I don't like writing. I write, but I don't like writing. Mm -hmm. I'd rather not. So I told him I couldn't write. So we're done. Um, I believe in me together. He made me write that. And then I said, I have this song that I just done with Mastercraft. Because I would always go there to the studio. And I did the song called Crazy Self for Me, Baby. And when he came back and I played it for him, he was like, What? You wrote that? I said, Yes. So it was like, From today, I'm not going to help you again. <laughs> You'll be writing your own songs. And that's how we started. So I had a lot of people come to me then who were trying to sign me left, right, and center. And I was like, mm. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Because my problem at the time was. You guys don't see where I'm trying to go. When I started out listening to music growing up, there was a certain standard of music that I listened to, and that's what I aspire to. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna make me dumb down what I do, which was what Westside was really doing for yeah. the most part. You're not gonna, and OJB helped to find that balance mm -hmm. for me, because he was one I was always coming in between. And so I was like, I'm not gonna do this. Like, I'm not, I'm not interested, I'm not, I'm not hungry. It's not by force. So, Banky, I told Banky that, yeah, I'm going for one of those meetings to meet one of these people that want to sign me. And he told me, don't go. <laughs> Make sure you come here tomorrow morning. And then that's how I went to wow. the EMA apartment. And they told me that they were going to sign me. And that's how I got signed in EMA. Wow. And that's how and when you were going there, you know, the conversation started. And, and you, the reason why I actually signed with EMA was because I felt like, oh, Banky has come from be abroad mm -hmm. and his sound was was r b with a yeah. twist which i thought was interesting yeah this, this guy knows what he's doing and would have a better idea of where i'm trying to go and mm -hmm. that's why i signed the ema because a whole lot of people had tried to sign me and i was like nope not interested yeah, I'm feeling it. not interested so. he's also a music guy he knows yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but i mean who, who, which labels were these labels i don't know I can't be naming names, man. No, it's okay. There's no need. Yeah, right. Let's get past the past. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. Please, I want to know the backstory to this thing. Oh, there's a name. name. Oh, there's a can, 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 can you help us with it? I have to start looking for you, no problem. No problem, man. No, I don't know. She's not sharp, right? 
he is he is an ESPN um, analyst and commentator. Yeah. So he, they asked him a question about something, and he there's, was there's like, "Was it there was there was there was problem? No, no, what's it?" It's, that ain't no problem. So they, he was arguing going back and forth. So, so so they asked him about something. He was like, "That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem." But when he so said his voice was so squeaky. It was very, like, you know, squeaky. So they cut it <laughs> and they <laughs> they made it into a meme. So he say, when a girl says she won't be able to go back home, <laughs> but she can, can she stay over? Sure. Then you put it like, "That ain't no problem." You know, like stuff like that. So I live under a rock. I literally just go on social media, tweet, post, or post move on, and dip. You don't, 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 you don't read those fire comments. I mean, the you see those fire that comments. people be tagging me on, I'm in this, I'm, I'm, I'm in a group with um, some crazy people. There's me, Kim Aditiba, Abiola Ok, Remy Aditiba, and a host of my friends from, yeah, they, <laughs> they keep you updated. <laughs> so you're good there. Every time. Every time I'm laughing like a crazy person, I'm just going hysterical. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. People look at me like there's something wrong with this one. Like I like I proper crack up and I almost want to pass out. Yeah. So that's good enough for me. I don't like the social media is too much for me. It's, it's really a lot. too much. It's too it's a much lot. for me. It's so when you were going to the Emmy House, um obviously you probably bumped into Wiz. Yeah, I've always known Wiz from yeah. Sri And meeting him again, like now he had, you know, it was dropped whiskey, the transfer. It was whiskey then. He had, he had, or had he dropped the album when you, when, when you were, you went to the house? He, well, he, I think he had just dropped the, the album, album and we were working on the EME album. So fantastic. Hmm. This is like oh, yeah. Wiz that had blown and everything. And, you know, meeting him full circle again, how was that like? It was, it was just like, I'm so proud. I didn't even, you know, I didn't know. That whiskey was whiskey. You, know, you didn't know he was coming to OJB studio at the time. I didn't know that that whiskey was the whiskey that I used yeah. to hear. Oh, I, didn't wow. know. I knew tease me, tease me, tease me. I knew all those songs, but I didn't know he was one because, like I said, I'm not a TV guy. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, I okay, barely, okay. I so hardly always, watch TV. I never like I would. Yeah. You, my TV could be there for months and I wouldn't even turn it on. That's me. I'm just wow, like, wow, yeah. So. I didn't know Whiskey was Whiskey until not long. I think it was MI that made me. I was like, no way. That's the mm, same guy. That's the same guy. This is not, this is not, this is no. And so when we, the first time we saw each other, I was like, you, how are you? And we were, it was like, it was, it, it, was, it just, it was seamless. Yeah. It was like old times. It was just, Whiz is cool. Mm. It's cool. Whose idea was it to work on the group album? Like Star Walk and the boss. That's one of the best group albums. Kai. Ever. That album? That's the only album that can try to rival CV album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That album. It had the heat. It had everything. Well put together. First of all, what was your best song? Hits on hits. What was your best song? Um I have like I have like four. So the one Nobody can stop us now. No, that one is that uh, one. No, that one is like almost. That's, my the, that one, that's yeah. almost to the ending. That's like maybe the second to the last one. That one is fire. Roll Roll it. 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 Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, let me tell you, let's break down that album. And the let's video, start, and the, the videos. The videos, that, the videos were coming out every month. Yeah. Back was every month. Badass boy. Oh, Jesus. But let's, can we talk Sumo about Sumo no, Badass boy. Sumo no, no, Chris Brown, Chris Brown put up Badass boy on his Instagram. You know, you know what killed me about Badass up, boy? Like, Whiskey that sang his part, at the end, did I say, hold on, please? I'm not done. 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 I'm not Yes, yeah, that was my introduction to Ruthie. Drank me. Women, that was my to introduction to Ruthie. No, and you wrote to me. No, you know, you see, not just not just looking used I, to, yeah. not just looking used to talk about. Shout out, shout out to, shout out to, yeah. out to not just okay, not just okay. Who who just okay. On, so when he appeared on that album, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, it was, yeah. Yeah. it was, it was, it was, it was, it was not just okay, particularly it was Demola. So just, shout out to yeah, Demola, yeah. Demola, Demola G, okay. who yeah. put us on routine. On he routine. was always pushing it. They put What's out his EP. What's it called? They even try. No, just okay. You try it. Just try pushing this guy. This Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, uh, Nicki's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One Nicki. Pakai Gilly. Pakai Gilly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, 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 they did. They did. Yeah. That album. It's a well put together album. Problem. Properly, Arnard. Yeah. Production. 
Had legendary okay. breeds. Yeah. Yeah. Sass. Yeah, me, Master Craft. Craft. Ah. And then the concert. Yeah. No, the concert, the concert was fun. Oh, the concert. Oh, the concert. Oh, the concert. Oh, the concert. And the lead single. I mean, no, one of the shows you were did. Oh, man. No, and everybody's individual singles. Everybody's individual singles were fun. Then, what's the name? She did not drop the... What's that song? Boju. Boju. In fact, I heard that song, I heard it live at that concert. I said, no, this boy is... No, no, no. This was an album. The concert was the first time. Oh, this was an album. Then, the following week, I downloaded the song then every day. That song is a problem. See, that that's that's what, what ah, made Spinlet yeah, pop now. Yeah. 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 Everybody, yeah. Yeah. That's how I got the album now. That's how I got the album. Yeah, yeah. everybody yeah. had to listen to it on Spinlet. Yeah. 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 For, like, for like two months. Yeah. 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 My only Blackberry, I used to like I, I used to My Blackberry used to crash. Yeah. 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 Without yeah. Spin. Yeah. Listen to the album every month. Was a really good album. I think the first month was like free trial. So that's why you got the album. I said that guy. That's why I didn't wear crash. It's a really it's a really good album. It's a really, really good album. And you know, Ayo and I were at the press conference. My, my favorite press conference of all time. Oh, yeah, because wow. we got paid. You know, we got paid. <laughs> Let's just leave that aside. Yeah. Yeah. We got, paid. <laughs> we got paid. I was just going to ask how much you got paid. <laughs> <laughs> you to bank, no, 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 it was really good. It was really good. And they took care of the journalists. <laughs> <laughs> they took care of the journalists. 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 Oh you know, before God. I used to carry bike from my from from, from, from I've said the story of the podcast. Oh, so so yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they call hunger boy. That day, hunger <laughs> boy. That day, you can have the rumors. You can have Jerry now. We took car. We took car. We said south. I let the kaja. Jerry too. I let the kaja. We took car. We were not proud. We were stunting. We took car. We took car. We took car. We took car. We went to the place. We we bought food. We bought food. We bought food. That night we didn't start. That day before the album, we had it. We said this album is dope. God, just back in there. It was a really good experience. We really loved the album and. I mean, what was the experience like also because you were on some of the records, you had the your sessions, single. How was, how was the, the sessions, sessions, like we, we all lived together and the studio was downstairs. Hmm. So it was, would come like, um, the Can't Stop Us was his, his special Nobody song can't to me stop us because now. it was like, I dropped my vocals. And that's what everybody heard and ginger to be like, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna, I'm gonna, gonna be do it. Like, Wizzy's verse, skills, skills came with skills. that fire verse, exclusive with the intro. That was when exclusive was still exclusive. I don't think people understand <laughs> how talented skills is. <laughs> yeah, no, very skills is a monster. We that's, talked about that's why we skills. give him so much. We give him, we give him stress we because, give him so because we know what you can do. Know what yeah. Yeah. Know yeah. What yeah. So everybody has to go through their process. Yeah, we understand that now. We get that, we get that now. And you know the interesting thing? The interesting thing about skills is, I think, I mean, I don't know if you guys have heard Mr. Love, but I've heard no, the album, the third album. No, no, go ahead. Musically, he's getting. Yeah, he's. he's, he's, he's it's like he's, a curve, and he's just doing it. He's like, doing it. You'll be surprised then. Eh? Skills will give you one album, and you'll be like, wow. Yeah, I will be surprised. I know, very yeah. Talented. Very, people very, need very, to. Yeah. People, yeah. people, people oh, need and to. And again, there's a lot of international acting that there's flying a lot under the radar for all of us here. Yeah, fuck. Diplo had a concert in Boiler Room, and Skills was. I think Skills was the only black guy. Beside Diplo, they're just chilling. I was like, wow, man, from heading for the ground to this. No, Skills is is very talented. I, I think, think again, skills what you does is that because you know, the pressure too. We love rap. Honestly. And you know, when you're yeah. heading for a Grammy as your first single, yeah, you true. thought this guy was the Messiah. Like, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, and I, and, and, and <laughs> this is also something that I want to address. So, um, last week, was it last week? Last weekend, I was at Sal and the Muse. Yeah. And I don't want to call anybody's name. There, there was a, a, an OAP there. Oh. <laughs> there's an OAP like, like, you know, like, where's your music da, 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 da. you know how you would always ask me mm, but yeah. there's a difference when you come from a place of oh Concern. we're anticipating yeah, we're concerned yeah. and when you're I'm trying to press when, yeah. and I said to him I said listen I said there is music but I'm just not it is not ready it's like when is it going to I'm like so I said to him almost like I, I was I'm like I'm not taking it out on you and I'm not frustrated. I'm just one of those people that cannot be pressured. Mm. I said, you see, I would rather come out right than come out on top. Just come out on top. Like, yeah. I would rather that. And get that, and that get, five because, minute buzz. You know, like, I really, really would. When I listen to, um, I said, when I listened to Solange's album, I was weak. So, I was so, like, this, this album. I mean, it didn't have to take seven years, but people think that they that what she means is, oh, it took seven years to put together. Mm -hmm. It was a was whole true, yeah. process. Yeah. And she was at the right place. And she was at, and that album came out at the right time because that was there was a lot going on at the time. Yeah. Black Lives Matter, so yeah. it was perfect for the timing, and it was not just musically or sonically. It was just perfect. Was. So I said to him, I said, 
there's a lot more but there's a lot more thoughts being put into the music i'm making now or that i make than to just be churning out music every month or every two months mm. that's great but that's just not the sort of artist that i am and that people need to understand that and he goes oh <laughs> just schooled like, yeah. like, oh, oh, okay. just schooled oh, because he came at me and i was yeah. like that's Image. what it is because <laughs> there were times where i'll be like why am i even doing this do i really want to be doing this but then you realize that i can't sleep at night if i don't do it yeah hmm. so that's why i decided to just kind of like it gives something cross so exactly yeah, yeah. so th- going back to skills i think he's 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 doing what he's supposed no, he's to fine. do. He's fine. You have to evolve. Because if you listen to, if you listen to the biggest of artists and take them back, listen to what they used to do, and compare it with what they're doing now, you mm-hmm. would, you would see how they evolved. You're right. So I You're think your right. skills is that the people need to stop pressuring people every time. Yeah, they used to post something on Instagram and like they say, "Have you stopped doing music, mate?" <laughs> Kind of, like you can't say that because an artist, Michael, and what's her name, Janet Jackson, is back on stage after how long? Mm. It's however you're still flesh and blood, and it's however your process is. Shade Ado is back in the studios. Mm. You can't really run away from who you are or what you are. It's your process, and there are many factors. But the thing is to be very to be. <clears throat> it's also hard for for you to be a fan of someone and still have that feeling like that feeling of. The um, unfulfilled potential, like mm. you as a fan, feeling that this person that I love mm-hmm. can't do so can't much. Do so much, much. So I hear that, and I get that. that. But there's so many factors. Mm. There's so many factors, and why do you think people commit suicide and kill themselves? Mm. And yeah, feel like there's so many factors, and people need to stop treating artists, like creatives, like they're cyborgs or they're superhuman. They're just flesh and blood. I mean, you know, it's just flesh and blood at the end of the day. Yeah, they have drop things to work two, out. Two, two years, yeah, actually, years. right. And I mean, I think even for we, we need to look at ourselves and look at you know what we do, our day jobs, and look at your performance. Exactly. There's some days you're not just hitting you three points. When you will just struggle, just might just might just go out. Yeah. You exactly. know. Yeah. So yeah. Then yeah, for somebody who's that creative on that level, there's so many things long. coming at you. So many things that mm. you have to sort it out. I was saying to somebody yesterday, I was like, two years ago, I said to Banky, three years ago, remember I did the show in 2016, that's mm-hmm. where it started from. I had been feeling so uncomfortable. I need to do something. I need to do something. There's something I must do. I spoke to Emma, I spoke to Banky, I was like, I know there's something I need to do. I just don't know how to do it. I want to do something for women, but I know that music is going to give me the platform that I need. Yeah. But then if I don't do the music, I'm not, it's not going to give me the le- level that I need to do what I want to do. So, but this music, I'm not satisfied with it. So it was like a whole maze that I needed to figure out. And I said, you know what? I'm going to travel to the states, and then I'm going to go study sound engineering. I'm going to study that and read that. I'm going to leave Nigeria. Yeah. Thank you. Was like, oh, that's great. And I, already, I already was pretty much in the states. I would be there for three months and be here for a month. I was like, so how do I let go of of this place yeah. and just start over from there? That was my thing. But I knew what I was hearing. It was like the signs were there. It's everywhere I went, I was hearing it. Like, I would be in the studio in the States and they'd be like, what? How do you do that? I'm like, I don't even know anything. Or, you know, yeah. I, I'm here thinking I don't know anything. And they're like, yeah, you don't. But imagine if you spent a little bit of time around these people what yeah. you could do because you're like raw undiluted and you didn't even get the training but you already know how and i thought i was ready hmm. i thought i was ready to go i was confused and i said you know what i'm going to do i spoke to sasha and i said i'm going to do my own um headline show because i've been saying to Amy to do that for the longest time but you're like ah, you can't just do that you know this is nigeria you have to build it all so i yeah, did i did that. i did my thing I, I did it at the bridge um 2016 december yeah. and the turnout was really really good like i didn't make too much noise i just told you know certain people and i did maybe promo for like just on my instagram for like a week or two partnered with um, um the net and a lot of people came out and it was even it was not free 
Hmm. It was not free. The money that I spent to do the show, I made it back. I didn't make no profit, but I made them. I didn't. I didn't run into no debts because of it. And I was like, you see, this is what I've been trying to say. We can't all be like this. 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 Yeah. Every artist has what is unique to them, and you yeah. have to let them That's be that different. person that yeah. they are. And it's great that I look the way that I look, just because of the, like Emma would say, Neil, like, because you look the way you look when we we'll see you. Yeah. And that's where that was my standpoint. And so there were there were there was a point where Banky was like, okay, I think I'm ready now. Whatever it was that was going on with me, I think I'm ready now. Like, let's do this. And he called me and he called Shady, and that's when we did the Never Gonna Stop video. And after that, because I said to him, I said, we can't. We can't really. Video was it? Thank you. We can't really shoot it? South Africa. Desert. Yeah, it was a, it was a um, a gold mine, an abandoned gold mine, and made you shot that video. It's a fantastic video. Amazing. Who wrote the treatment for that video? Meiji. The you know Meiji is Meiji is a. Meiji Meiji right now I think is is it is it top the best two. video? Top, top two. two. Who's who's number one? No, I'm not saying number one. Okay, just top Daps, two. Daps. Hey, Daps. 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 Okay, so Meiji is Meiji is there. Meiji is ah, fire. I love that video. Yeah. I love that video. The ring, everything, I love it. Yeah, so that video was supposed to be... Uh, of course, like like I said, in my music, I'm always saying something. Stuff that I mean. Because mm -hmm. I was saying, never gonna stop. Like, what are you talking about? Like, because I, I seemingly take a break or pull back. Doesn't mm -hmm. mean that I'm gonna really stop. Yeah. You know? And I did that. <clears throat> and that was my last video on EME because I just wanted to release the album. I wanted to finish the album and just drop it. Mm -hmm. it and drop it. But you see, like I always like to talk about God. I'm not a preacher or anything, but I always like to talk about God. Sometimes, man, you're out of control, and you think you want to go this way, and God is like, ah, you need to go that way, and you're gonna keep going that way, and it's gonna keep bringing you back. And then, what is happening? Mm. So I feel like God kept redirecting me and redirecting me and redirecting me to where I am now mentally. So. What I did at that point was I went to the States for a while and I started working on stuff there, which was different. And somebody had said to me that, um, you're such a deep person. You're so intense. And I don't get that from your music. I feel like you're holding back so much. Yeah. It through. I never ever thought of it like that. Mm. I never ever thought of the fact that oh, this is your music and this is you. You have to marry this oh, and mm -hmm. let people see. I never thought of it like that. And it made me think. Like it made me think long and hard. I was like, this is the problem. This is why I'm not happy with this music. It's mm. nice, it's melodious, it's great, but this is why I'm not happy with this music. And I had to scrap everything. Wow. Yeah. And I went to. I went to. Some place in DC, camped out there for weeks, and I was just recording and recording. And those were some of the best songs that I made in my life because it was so, it was so me. Like I would speak about anything I was feeling. I meet a guy, I like him, and I'm like, okay, I like you, but nothing is going to happen. I'll put it in a song mm. the next day. <laughs> I'm telling you, like I'm feeling some type of way, and I put it in the song, and I'm like, oh, oh okay this works. you know this works yeah. and that's what i started to do and it was for me a rediscovery and i came back in that's when i now came back in 2016 and did the show yeah. so 2017 i had my plans and whatever whatever in march the whole EME thing happened everybody went their separate ways yeah. and i was in new york writing for uh, some publishing company when i came back to nigeria in March, April. No, no, no. My friend passed in April, so I had to come back to Nigeria. When I came back, I met my mom. She was sick, and so I had released. I had recorded um, "Where's the Love," and I was supposed to release it. Mm -hmm. After releasing it, I was like, "I'm gonna do a whole rebranding thing. Not just rebranding. I think I talked to you about it. Mm -hmm. Not just rebranding. I just want people to see me for who I am." And shout out to Kemi. I did it, but Kemi was like, "The first way." that you should do that is through your social media. She's like, it worked for me. Mm. 
I'll be like, yeah, but I'm a private person. I don't want nobody in my business. She's like, you, you have the power to show them as much as you want to show them. You got the power. <laughs> so you can take that I know and, power. and just do what you want to do with it. So I started posting on social media. Yeah. And I would just say how I feel. And the days that I didn't post, somebody would DM me. Waiting for your post every morning. Yeah, we, we saw this post. Very, 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 very ins inspiring. And then some people will hit me up. I'm like, Nila, are you okay? <laughs> like, are you depressed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, no, I'm not depressed. Like, I just find, I just found out that I found my strength from strengthening other people. I'm mm -hmm. like, it's a little different from what everybody else would do, but this is me, and I have to embrace it. But that's not to say that I cannot be fun when I want to be fun. That's not to say I can't be stupid when I want to be stupid. I'm just a layered person and I just need to figure out how to let people figure out that mm. this is who I am. And that was what I was trying to figure out. I talked to a whole lot of people. Because I also realized that part of the problem with me and me was that our vision when mission wasn't aligned. They mm. had the way that they saw me. Yeah. And I had the way that I saw, you saw yourself. So we would always agree to disagree on a lot of things. But ultimately, I understood that no, but like it wasn't anybody's fault. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't their fault. It was just how they understood to do things, and it was a good while it lasted. Is there any, should I say, anger at all at, at the industry, where you feel like you've given so much and you've not gotten much back? I've gotten a lot. <laughs> Mm. Okay. You, you did, like music has done for me things that you wouldn't have imagined. Yeah. Like mm. places that I've been to. You see, the fact that it's not there yeah, yeah. doesn't true, mean that true. music has there. done things for me that you could, that I could never have achieved. That way. So I'm good. Mm. I'm good, and like I said, I've not even scratched. So and it's deeper than the music for me. Music is just that starting point mm -hmm. for me to do the other things that I know that I'm supposed to do every day and I keep meeting people and the more that I the, the, the minute that I started to reason like this I started meeting people who also aligned with my way of reasoning like on mm -hmm. and and MI2 would say to me Nila you have such an interesting and beautiful story and a strong story you need to tell it through your music you need to tell your music you have so much strength, mm. you have so much love, you have so much pain that you need to share. Bag of emotions. Yeah. I have, you have a bag of emotions that you need to share through your music. And it would say, do you listen to K. Michelle? You would put That's me, one of my favorite singers, man. It would put me on K. Michelle and say, you need to just let people connect with you. Like, K. Michelle puts, like, puts her heart in the music. Yeah. yeah. And I, I had to go back and start over. I remember when I met Odusi and Odusi listened to my music, he said he was a very interesting person. He was mm. like, what's your problem with self? He was like, what's your Everybody that? keeps telling me Everybody keep, kept telling me that. Maybe I look like someone who, who, have, who have a career media later. Yeah, she's she's good at talking. Like, like a podcast. Yeah, something. she's good at talking. Yeah. Yeah, she's, and she's stories good. Yeah. and everything. Like, yeah. she'll, be, she'll be a great interviewer. Very, very, very. very, very. Yeah, you'd be a great interviewer. Yeah. A great interviewer. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that was how um that went. And I decided that I was gonna release an EP. So I started recording last year while my mom was in the hospital and I would mm -hmm. go back and forth. I worked with um CK. Shout out to CK. CK is an amazing producer, like a whole lot of people don't He's know He's a better producer what? than artist. That's what I was trying to explain. It's where my... When I know during the infamous yeah. episode. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I don't know about that. I don't know yeah. about all yeah. that. He's a better producer, he's he's a better a producer, producer than artist. artist. Yeah. Not that he's not a good artist, because he I is. like his song he did with Bella Lubo. She naked he's a good artist, I love he's it. A better producer. But his production, that yeah. boy is a good producer. CK. He's a good yeah. producer. He understands music. That EMEL, uh, sorry, that uh, Chocolate, Chocolate Steel album. Chocolate mm. Steel Him, mm. Donnell 37, and um, Reinhardt. The finished work. Yeah, so I was working with CK. I'm like, oh, I love the space that I am right now. I was working at MI Studio. Mm -hmm. And eventually, in August, you know, my mom passed. And I just shut down. I shut down. Yeah. And um, as much as I shut down, I felt like suddenly I felt like <clears throat> I had a new lease 
of life. I felt like, oh my god, like, I, I felt like I just got here. Mm. I felt like I was just studying like life. I just saw things differently. I just didn't care anymore. Like, I couldn't be bothered about making my hair anymore. Like, going to the salon or buying weaves or whatever. I just like, okay. I can be bothered. Mm -hmm. Makeup, if I feel like, and I had to be going somewhere. Like, I had to be going somewhere really, really important. Even at that, like, I had to feel like it. I just couldn't care. I don't know. Maybe that was how I grieved or how I mourned. But mm. I just became this totally different person. And I'd never felt more uh, alive. alive. And it took my mom's death for me to start to live. Like, mm -hmm. And I was watching... And this is so crazy. I was watching... I was watching Vampire Diaries at the time again. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I, was watching, I, was like I told you. I was watching Vampire <laughs> Diaries, <laughs> and was it like, just for me, it was just like, oh my god, like, mm. what have I been doing? Like, what have I been doing? Why am I here? You know. And so I started doing a lot more music along the lines. That's not to say that when you want to hear my music, like, yeah, ooh. <laughs> no, like, it's still music, but for me, just for me, I know what it, what it represents for me and what it, what it means for me and where it's coming from. It's from a real place. And I feel like people will remember more yeah. something that they connect to yeah. than something that they just hear. You can forget what you hear. Facts. But yeah. you will never forget what makes you By feel connecting. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always go back to Tobad when I would argue with people about when great they say, just do it, just great to record. do, thank you, just do a club song for like, that's great. I probably would if I felt it's the need like, to, yeah. but I'm not going to go do a club record because I have to do a club record. I'm sorry, like, it just doesn't work for me like that. It's a great record. When we did Tobad, shout out to Oscar, by the way. Banky didn't like it. He said the Too word slow. Tobad has been used too much. One they call has used it. I the band has used it. No, sorry, da, 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 da. And Oscar and I were like, but it's being used in a different way. Mm. It's like, I don't know. Da, da, da. And then the whole song. It was like, it's a good song. It's not a great song. And I said to him, you don't know it's a great song until it's been proven to be great. Mm. And we went back and forth, back and forth for six months. Creative differences. Six months. Six months before mm. he agreed. Yeah, I remember I was in India, and he just messaged me. I think I like Tobad now. He can release it. <laughs> I knew. Shout out to B. B. I knew that They're God had helped me touch him. him. <laughs> 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 yeah. And then we released it. Get a yeah. No, no, no. I went to India for a surgery, okay. which is also part of the things that I've been having to deal with. Yeah. I have a, a situation. You know, I, 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 <laughs> my stubbery. I have a, I had a health, I have a health condition that I'm, that I've been dealing with and treating, yeah. and um, also that that has been part of the things hindering me from yeah. doing things, yeah. um, the way that everybody has expected me to do it. But I can't go out and say, oh, I'm sick or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't need to. Yeah. But so a lot of times when I would travel, I would go travel and get myself checked. And yeah. Be doing one surgery or the other. Um, yeah, so you so. were there when he said, okay, he gave you a green light on too bad. And then when we released the song, even when we were doing the promo and whatever, it was like, yeah, whatever. But when Kemi did that video, yeah, and that end part where the girl had to, where I had to go back to the yeah, guy, yeah. that was the whole video. Hmm. Because that's the part that everybody can relate to. Because you always, you how always, many girls came back to you, Steve? You always go back. Everybody has that one person. <laughs> You that always that went back to switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know I, about I you. I talked about it. My first girlfriend, second. I did. So Ayo. people will always what? remember the song. <laughs> no, I love the song. It taught me. It taught Ayo, me. How, you had that girl. You always went back to. Yeah, they taught me emotion. I thought I love the song because okay. when you're like, I'm like, nah, fam, this is this is. Uh, this is you. Yeah. This because is, you connected to it. Yeah. And the great thing, like a chick is writing this, but you can still feel it. You yeah. Know, yeah. Through gender lines. And yeah. Like, you know, this is a great record. Yeah. So that's. So that's it still goes back to that connecting emotion. Connecting emotion emotionally, emotionally yeah, because so. people will remember. Um. I only do that with you know your truth. Your truth. Your, uh, so that's where mm. that's just this this space that I am 
mentally now and um so i was planning to release the ep earlier this year but i didn't because all oh, um <laughs> because because i wanted to release i wanted to get the image like, right. if you notice like my pictures on instagram mm -hmm. lately have been very they've been different it still has the sex appeal that Neela would normally have but it's more me like yeah. I'm a mad person. Like, I'm really a mad person. Yeah. People don't know that. I'm not... Okay, like, I'm just... You know... I'm... I'm very playful. I'm very intense. I'm like a child. I'm like a grandma. I'm a lot of things rolled into If I, If you ask a lot of your male fans on Instagram, they'll, they'll be like, I don't know, probably. <laughs> 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 I don't know, probably. <laughs> I feel like he just wanted to say that he's dying to say that to you. He just found the right. Well, for real, for real. I think uh, you yes. know how they say honesty is the best policy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Being real, being you, you know, being being who you are. <laughs> so you see what makes it funny? We we'll write some deliver number, number and start talking to me. Don't mean. No problem. You know. I am done with this. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. So yeah, just being you and being yeah. comfortable in your skin. That's the that's the best thing that can ever happen. Because you try to be another person. Yeah. Man, how long are you gonna do it for? Man, you get tired. You get tired. You get know, mentally so. It's not even about trying to be another person when you don't even know who you are. Yeah. Mm. You are nobody. That's worse than being another person. Fact. That's why we gotta allow people to just live their life, man. True. So you know, this process of self discovery. I respect honesty and artists. Like yeah. this is you, what you yeah. want to do. Yeah, Shout out to you. And that's what Shout out to Goldie, you know, R.I.P. That's what she was doing at that time. Mm. Goldie was just being her. Was just yeah. being her. People didn't understand her at that time. Yeah. Yeah. But she was just being her. She was just and her naturally, thing. people will yeah. kick against what they don't understand. Sure, sure. Sure. The, greatest, the greatest people in the world Fact. were kicked against. Sure. All of them, Fact. in sure. the beginning, seemed like crazy people. Sure. Yeah. Until... People down caught up with them. They were imagine the, the guy that invented electricity. How many times? He now was mad, mad, was mad, no. But now we yeah. can't. Yeah. We can't yeah. live with. Yeah. We can't live with. What other time has Lagos tried his last one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, and yeah. wife would not need to stop and say. Have you watched Acrimony? Well, I watched it halfway. Okay. And I was like, yeah, I'm not ready for this kind of. Yeah, yeah, like it was too intense. I was like, nah, I'm not ready for this. It was too intense. Oh God. <laughs> well, like, the so much yeah. But uh, but I read people's comments on Twitter and I was like what are people saying? I like uh, Obama's breakdown. A boogie, a boogie has done something. Yeah, he broke it down. He broke it down. He dissed the guy. He dissed the guy seriously. Yeah. Like, the guy is manipulating and yeah. self controlling. I said it on LT Extra the other time. I don't think we should look for blames. Mm -hmm. I just think we should life is understand. Complex. Life is like I always yes. say that there's no life isn't black and white. That there's That's a lot of it's gray, gray areas yeah, in life. Gray. Gray. I remember when I was younger and I used to judge um, women. Like I used to judge relationships based mm. on certain things. And then something happened to a friend of mine who she had been dating this guy for like two years or so, and the guy was literally waiting for her to graduate. And he did everything for her like every holiday he would fly her to the states he lived in the states and he was you know what you would call an eligible bachelor he was good to go we all loved him his family her family whatever and then she met this guy just in her final year okay well by the way he was almost like 10 years older than her now that's the problem now that's not the problem so no problem. Lulu Jacobs is twenty years old and Jacobs. It's not even that. Lulu Jacobs said I must see it because that's must have been wild culture. The the guy she met was like a year or two older than her, and she just she was falling for him. No sex, nothing. It was just they just connected. Connected. She loved her boyfriend, no doubt. Yeah. But there was just something about this guy. Like they loved the same kind of music. He understood her sense, of, her sense of humor. Yeah. It was, and everybody was against her, even her mom. Mm. And I said to her, I was like, listen, I think that I think I'm, I'm a sucker for love. Yeah. And I said to her, if you have a chance at feeling something that deep, you better go for it. Mm. You better go for it. Like, if you don't, if you feel like this about another person, why are you with the other person? Mm. Yeah. And so, 
she told the guy about it and he broke up with her. Five years after, they got married and they're happy now. Wow. But if we had used our Nigerian brains to judge, we'd have been like, that girl is wicked because life is not black and white. Man. Facts. 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 Life is not black and white. And as I grow older, Facts, I keep yeah. seeing that I don't judge people. At all. Like there's some things that you just will not understand. I'll just say yeah. on this podcast now, when it comes comes to relationship, when it comes to love, it feelings, it emotions, like, it's it none know. of your business. Don't like, worry. You don't know what's happening. It's not your feeling. Don't either. worry. Hmm. You know, so like life is not the acrimony situation. Definitely the guy was not a bad person. Like I said, the guy was bad watching person, it. Guy's not a bad he person. loved her. Yeah. He did love her. He was just a selfish person. Yeah. And if you're, if you don't understand that, that loving, uh, listen, and that connects, and, and that goes back to mad people too. <laughs> people who are mad are selfish because they're they're thinking about the greater good, like the vision they have. And this guy has something he was working on. He didn't want anything to distract him, so he was just selfish. No, 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 no. <laughs> you understand what I'm trying As to say? As a human being, mm-hmm. yeah. it's like I would say when people talk about Abacha or whatever. Yeah. I'm sure he had a family that he loved and his children loved him. His daughter, yeah. His daughter, daughter posted on him on Instagram. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But to the rest of the world, he was a beast. Yeah, true. The fact that he was a, a, the person that we perceived him to be didn't mean that when he loved, he couldn't under, the, the love would now change him into yeah, something yeah, yeah. else. Mm. So this man is the way he is. He's a selfish person. Then he falls in love. He's not going to automatically switch from being selfish yeah. because he has now fallen in love with her. He's still the same person that he is. Selfish, crazy, whatever people can he love is, as well. He is. So it didn't change the fact that he loved her. He did love her. He just didn't love her in the way that he should have. But he did love her in his own way. Yeah. And she herself, like a lot of people mistake, you, you can still love somebody and be assertive. Yeah. True. She was enabling him. She, she wasn't assertive. True. She was enabling she enabled him. him. And she was, that's not love. I'm sorry. Like I always say to my friends that if I'm doing something that is wrong and you know and you don't tell me and I find out that you knew and you could have saved me or helped me. You're not my friend. You're not my friend. I'm cutting you off. Like, that's the end. True. A lot of people can't deal with that. But what use are you to me if you cannot help me be a better person? So I think that both of them had to blame. And, and that was obsession. You know, one, one thing again that we, we keep putting, we keep making a factor here is that Oh, the invention worked. Man, fuck your invention. Yeah. You know why? Because at the end of the day, if you really love me, it wasn't about the invention. Do you know how many things you could have gone to do? But because you're your wife, you have to compromise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, look at okay, I'm what? going to do these other things. Do you what? understand what I'm saying? Invention worked yeah. after how many years? The guy yeah. is really stubborn. Inven- invention worked after twenty something years. There's no way years. I would have. Why, know, why am I pushing an invention that will work out for something years? Because, and then you no, can like, invent what you want to invent, but please, did they say you should not do another thing? It didn't know. work. It didn't work. Yeah, they, have to, they have to shame him to get that job with family. Especially seeing a woman unhappy like that. It, that guy is weak. Like, he's, that guy is really stubborn. He, he didn't work. Really, really, really you know, all this time, he didn't work. That's what I'm saying. And she had two jobs. He's really, really stubborn. No, he can't do that. He was selfish. He can't do that. You could have done yourself, whatever. Bro, seeing the woman do two jobs in low. Imagine if I just stop yeah. working and say, okay, my wife should work. Because and you have say, I have this dream. Because yeah. I have to do 13 episodes of hip hop in Nigeria on Netflix. <laughs> so, <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be shocked that there are different versions yeah. of this level of selfishness in men. Yeah. Hmm. His own came out like that because his work and invention. In, invention. But what? there are different versions of that selfishness, of that level yeah. of, of selfishness in men. Truth. In men today, in I still today's know. world, that they are not physically they're collecting yeah, your money, yeah, yeah. but yeah. they are draining you of everything that makes you. <laughs> I'm telling you. And there are women too. Are we? Are we too? Let, yeah, let's balance it out. There are women too. Men, so yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Let's leave it. What do you think about <laughs> what, 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 what do you what do you what do you think about like you know the uprising in feminism in Nigeria? The fourth wave. It's actually the is it the fourth? I've yeah. done that in the fourth wave. The fourth wave. The fourth wave. You know. Well, I would say that first of all, I like I'm just very left in my thinking. I think that first of all, the the advent of what did you call it again? Feminism. Feminism. People have the wrong notion about this whole feminism thing. I'm sorry. I would never be equal with a man, and a man would never be equal with me, because mm. how so? We are wired differently. Let's go back to creation. God created the man, right? Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, he's lonely. 
let me create a woman for him so what do you expect god put something in the woman that is a bit of i don't even know for lack of a better word like a maintenance or upgrade type things just like you have an iphone 6 and then you have an iphone 6s it doesn't mean that the iphone 6s is better than the iphone 6 it just means that there are things that have been put in the iphone 6s that do not that have been considered in iphone 6 not to have functioned right mm. and have been put there as an upgrade so women brings you back to the beginning of the conversation that we had don't know who they are and while you're constantly trying to be like the man you're missing the point you're missing the person that you are so you cannot even be who or what you're supposed to be because you're looking in the wrong direction how about you focus on who you are and understand how this man's thinking is because we're night and day and if we understand how like i was reading something on twitter the other day somebody was like oh you should marry somebody who you're thinking everything your ideologies are the same no it's, 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 it's about that's understanding crazy. it's about that's, that's it's really about crazy i saw that i saw that yeah, yeah, yeah. the differences in people who are you just are their minds. <laughs> people, just, people just you see crazy it? that wish wish list you, you, know, you know these crazy things that you have never like told you. anybody yeah, yeah. 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 you just been on social media somebody is taking it that some people are agree with you yes i'm taking it and using it as a source code to their own blueprints just imagine how boring that house would be someone that thinks exactly like you so anything you know, will be you will be touching the remote together <laughs> <laughs> you know it's crazy i think it's crazy. I, I, I think, think Neola is the great. third wave feminist, feminist. Yeah. yeah third wave i don't even know nothing about because all that. you've been very empowering with your music i'm just i'm and very old-fashioned like, yeah yeah like i'm yeah. very old-fashioned and i don't believe in this what is feminism like i'm sorry like there are some hey, things yeah, that, you, know, like, you better be easy no i don't listen you better be easy listen I, I say something if there's anything that i know about myself is that i actually the only thing in this life that i'm afraid of is god like i i i say what i mean and i mean what i say so mm. i don't care what mm. you think what i think is what i think my truth is my truth it's okay we can we can have conflicting opinions that's right mm. yeah. you are who you are and i am who i am now if you can make me see reason with you that's great and i'm not also like one of those people who are who's unreasonable who doesn't constrict i would to your yeah i would i it. would like to listen to you but if it doesn't make sense then it doesn't make sense to me because my my reasoning is as a result of things that i have experienced of things that i've you know taken in that's quite true and imbibed yeah yeah you know yeah. what i mean we're we're all we're all uh, here yeah. 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 that's it yeah, that's the way true. you see it is the way is it, you've lived we are all if biased. i stand from here all if somebody us. stands from here yeah. now and yeah. holds if i hold this thing now somebody says what is the shape of this thing you're looking at it from one angle yeah, yeah, yeah. you could say oh it's thin yeah and then yeah. person look at it i'm like no it's not thin it's yeah. wide it's wide so it doesn't mean you're wrong yeah, yeah. it's just perspective yeah. and i think yeah. that that's what people need to understand like nigerians especially don't understand that it's okay for the next person to have their own opinions like mm. everybody just wants no, everybody you must take my own yeah, if you I'm, don't, I'm, they'll give you they'll you give, must they'll, take they'll my own if you don't take my own it means you think i'm stupid no i have a new neighbor right and you know we talk and it's like okay so so which church do you attend church so i go to a religion and say oh okay good that's nice good church <laughs> so, so in my so, mind i'm so, like so, 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 so are you approving of right you are like why are you approving so, so you are approving you are approving you're like oh this, approving, this guy is legit approving me oh, with your shit. state of mind yeah, 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 yeah. Which one you can connect i'm very anti-church right now why is that because we we're asking you before even before the podcast started I feel like we're in such delicate times mm. that everybody, out of every ten people that I I talk to, seven are depressed. Facts. Depressed. Going without, through. Like they don't even know why mm. or what. That's like depression. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's crazy, and everywhere you turn in Nigeria, there's some church That's or the church. other. Everywhere you go on Instagram, somebody's talking about Jesus or God, like me. Yeah. So what are you doing? Mm. What is the problem? That's 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 my thing so i have gone to churches and i don't feel like the church today has a model that fits our the church generation is still the purpose of 19, that's what the, the church is not doesn't not, have a model yeah. that suits our generation the challenges and the reality yeah. now you're not telling me 
how to deal with my day-to-day -day life as an artist and a Christian who has to deal with sexuality problems mm -hmm. or challenges yeah. or social media pressure. Sure. You're telling me that if I've not broken through, let me use the terms, at 25, I'm not, it's because I'm not serving God right. You're yeah. telling me that if something That's wrong pressure. happens That's to pressure. me, That's it's because I'm not serving God right. right. Yeah. You're sin. telling me that it's because of my sin. No, but that's not what the Bible says, though. Mm. That's not what the Bible says. Like, are you really teaching me? I, I, I really would like a church that teaches you to walk, teaches me about my day-to-day -day walk, about my faith, about understanding God and what He needs me to do, like what He wants me to do, how mm -hmm. He how he thinks how he processes and why he did that you know that's what i need in a church yeah not just the sedentary worship of going to church and warming the seat and, when, and, yeah, and, this. and sometimes like a friend of mine would say um that he realized that at some point he was tired of church and then when he would go like, oh i'm connecting with the music no it's not really the music <laughs> you're not feeling the spirit it's the beautiful melody <laughs> that is getting to you just that's like all. if you listen to um um, whiskey and dunk are mighty, whiskey and dunk are mighty you would song. feel oh this is so sweet that's the same way that that music is doing yeah. that to you i'm sorry but what are you really doing to me when i leave church when i when i leave church what you tell me is it carrying me through the week how are you telling me are you judging me am i feeling like you're edifying my spirit mm. and i don't feel like that and i've been to lots of places they're either talking about prosperity or something i'm sorry no like i do you realize that money actually doesn't make people happy? People think that money is what makes people happy, but mm. money is not what people are sad. Mm. People are depressed. And it's more so in young people. It's crazy. And I feel like the institution of the church, they need to do better and create a module that fits up. Like. And he put some music behind that shit. Yeah. And sent it to me. Wow. I'm like, wow. That's a wokeness. Uh, I'm like, oh damn. <laughs> I was like, oh damn. So I said, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna do a mixtape. And I know Paul had always been on my Chris like, I think you make a good rap. I'm like, I don't know how to rap. Shout out to Laddie Paul. I'm like, I think you make so I hit him up and I said, you know what? I think I wanna do a mixtape. Plus I have a lot of music that I don't know what I'm going to do with. So you know it is. Let me do that whole Marikari style yeah. where you just have some rap and you have her singing. Yeah, so yeah. And after that, I'm going to release an album. Okay. Because this is the way that I can let all this music. It's a good rollout. It's a good rollout. It's a good rollout. That's the plan for now. Yeah. It's a good rollout. It's a good rollout. Wish you all the best. Thank you. You know, we're big fans of you here. So we, we send you. you all the love. Thank you. We already know the music is dope, so we can't, you know, we can't <laughs> shout. Yeah. So yeah, we, should, we just wish you all the love. Um, I want to say thank you for sharing your story. Your journey. Finally, I cannot take this off my, <laughs> my bucket list. Uh, I, I finally, we finally did a new line interview. Mm. Yeah. 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 And and um, um, I want to ask this question. Yes. All time, top five Nigerian rappers. All time. Freestyle. Top five. Top five. Top five. Freestyle. Freestyle. Five, top five. Um, Am I? Am I? Mode nine. Mode nine. Rugged man. Rugged man. And Blaze. Blaze. Wow. That's 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 a solid list. Mm. That's a solid list. Mm. That's a solid list. That's a solid list. There's a lot more, but yeah. I mean, yeah. Off the top of my head. Yeah. That ain't no problem. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, yeah, Thank you for having me. I feel like Thank you I feel so like I've been gisting the entire time. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what it is. That's, that's, that's what it is. So I mean, that your friend, I was panicking. I know. We're nice people. Yeah, we're nice people. We're nice. We're nice. Just sometimes, you know. Two of us are nice. We're nice. Third one. The wires cross. This one is not nice at all. Like everyone knows. Aya is nice. It's a very nice combination, you know. Aya is the nicest. Aya is the nice. Look at God. Yeah. Not. You're not listening. He's, he's the warrior nice. from Mugeli no. I said he's not nice. I did not say he's not nice. <laughs> There's a difference. Which means that the rest are worse. <laughs> 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 I'm going take home to mama. <laughs> and guys, it's the Loose Thought Podcast. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>